morning. <laughs> Sammy got to say good morning first, which I have my tie on today. I like the tie. But, yeah, I mean, I don't mind wearing ties. I mean, I'm used to it. I mean, all right, so it's cold today. Yeah, it's uh, It was cold last night, so update. I uh, had the electrician visit last night, gave some really nice advice around the tech space. Um, I still, I'm still resting. I've taken a week and a half off from tennis. I worked out with weights. I gotta work out maybe with weights tonight or something to kind of stay in the rhythm because it's Thursday tonight, right? Sammy's got softball, but I cannot go to softball tonight. I have a meeting, part of, you know, where I'm going to do a presentation around digital learning and technology. I have two What's that? My first question is, what is the presentation about? Okay. And the second question is, what are you going to do? Okay. Presentation tonight is an update around um, the department I'm the leader for, um, digital learning and technology. It has essentially four parts. It's the curriculum, K-12, for, um, for digital learning um, and what types of work my people are doing in relationship to what they're teaching and how they're teaching um, digital learning in computer science and standards and learning. And then that's the first part. The second part is digital learning and technology integration. That is how my, my people are, um, well, more than my people, but my, my team is supporting teachers at uh, integrating technology uh, with other teachers and what we're doing to help support that. The third part is um, the technology infrastructure that is like, you know, how the devices, how we provide devices to students, how those devices connect to, um, you know, the network, um, what labs we've updated, um, you know, and how we've updated the hardware around the schools to uh, support, you know, new hardware because technology is always changing. The, the very final part and the fourth part is resources so basically you know I have infrastructure I have curriculum um, and I have these teachers and then my final piece is what resources are we providing people in general you know and what workflows as a department are we able to do with the resources we provide so that includes you know filtering devices so that kids are safe online that includes um, you know, providing teachers with, you know, tools that enhance how they teach with technology. Um, and that's my, you just gave me a chance to practice my presentation, but that's the four parts. I kept it to four parts. Um, the electrician, you know, came and looked at the tech space um, and essentially said, you know, basically me and Joey can basically like put the walls up in the bathroom area and do the ceiling and do the plumbing and do that and then all the power I need for my tech space is already in the tech space all we have to do is like run the lights like basically he doesn't have to run another line basically what's basically the main amount of power that was going to come into the house um, was coming from uh, no, from the, the garage with the boxes. So we don't have to run a line that has power to another place to have power. We already have the power within five feet of everywhere inside the tech space. So, which is pretty good because initially I was, at, I was thinking about adding all this stuff to the tech space that, because I wanted to have electricity and stuff. Well, that would mean running lines to it. The lines are already there, so um, it's all, you know, basically when he comes in to do one thing, we can be ready for him to do the other. So, what did the electrician do? He, he looked, the electrician came and he looked at what we had already done, 
and what I had already had done at the house and um, look to see like what would be the best plan for what I wanted. So he, I told him how I wanted more power in that tech space room and how I need lights and I need outlets. And then he said how in the bathroom, essentially what we needed to do so he could finish that piece. Cause it's actually not a lot left for him there. Like it's basically kind of done. It's just, we have to do, um, we, we have to do some of the finish work so that um, we can move things in. So like the washer and dryer can be moved. So we have to move some plumbing. We basically have to make it so that um, the pumps and everything have a place to go when we want to install them in the, in the, um, the new bathroom type oh, area. So you want to like Yep, connect the power and then add more places to plug the power in. So, which was different than what we initially thought. Initially we thought um, that I was gonna have to have a line pulled back and then that was the key thing before we could kind of move forward with moving. But no, we can actually, if we do everything we need to do in the bathroom, everything can just be moved. So, it, it's easier than you thought. So. so, I will say, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking about everything a lot. Like, um, you know, March is definitely like a move on month, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely like a, hey, you know, what's, you know, let's just keep moving. Yeah, spring is like a rainy month, so with, with all the rain melting, yeah, the snow is going to melt a little bit of time. But the snow is even melting today, like, um, it's lovely rain. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I just got to, I mean, I think it's important to stay focused. I mean, I'm working on a couple things. What? Oh. Well, it's important to, like, love yourself. I'm going to tell you that because... Because uh, you have to make sure in life that you... Don't, you're always kind of aware of yourself and others. what's in, well, no, no, others are important, but what's important to you and because as much as other people are going to like kind of maybe give you attention and, you know, maybe be like, hey, you know, like I find you interesting, um, you need to make sure that you don't get distracted by that a little bit because people get lost sometimes in what other people think of them. And it can make you feel like a little insecure. It can make you feel like, like, you know, oh, what does that person think? You don't, as much as it's sometimes nice to know that someone thinks, hey, Sammy's a really nice person. I really like her. It's also nice to know, Sammy, that you know you're a nice person and that you do your best every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's important to keep that in mind because, um, because what, what matters is that you have a positive sense of self because if you don't have like a super positive sense of self, like people will kind of like they won't always do it intentionally, but they'll sometimes like eat at you, you know, like take from you like little things and you're like, oh, and they'll try to make you think like, oh, maybe they may not even try to make you think you might just start to naturally think, 
oh, maybe, maybe I should try to do it that way. Or maybe, maybe I should try to be that way. And you don't need to do things any way that someone else wants you to do them, to be honest with you. You do things in your life that the way you want to do them because you have to be the ultimate boss of Sammy. You know what I mean? And so if you need help, you know, and this is where some people run into problems. If, if you need help or you need support, um, you have your parents. And some people don't always have, like, parents who, like, give them really good advice or are really super supportive. And, and But it really helps to have parents who are because then if you do... You can go to them and say, oh, how do I feel about this? Or they respond to something. Your parents would give you a... Di Don't you think your parents would give you a different response than your friends about whether or not something is right or wrong? Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, that's because your parents are experienced and your friends are sometimes less experienced. Now, as you get older, you will... You know, who you confide in and ask questions of will change. But... When you have questions, you just need to remember that it's okay to, you know, find, you know, even ask your parents or, you know, develop other relationships with people who are, you feel are supportive for you. Because if you don't have that support system, what's going to happen is you, people might take advantage of you. They might be like, hey, you know, Sammy, I really like you. Um, and I'm glad you shared that experience with me, but what do you think about me? <laughs> you know, like they might, you know what I mean? They might turn it because they need something. And what you're going to find is everybody needs stuff, right? You, like you want stuff. I want stuff. Everybody wants stuff. But what you got to realize is that everybody wants stuff. Like everybody needs something. And what you got to realize is that it's okay for Sammy to say, you know what, Sammy, I'm, I'm the one who needs to take care of myself. What do I need before, you know, I'm necessarily helping out the world? Like, it's nice to help out the world and be a good person. And don't get me wrong. Like, it's super nice. But you also have to realize, like, what's the best decision for Sammy? You know what I mean? And when you have questions about that decision, it's okay to ask your parents or, you know, people in your support system that you really trust and you have experience trusting, not just people that you're like, boy, I really want them to be my friend. Why don't I ask them their opinion? Because if you ask someone who you've never asked, just the final thing I'll say. So say you have a question. But instead of going to your parents, you feel nervous. You're like, well, I'll go to my friend. But you've never asked this friend questions before about you. They might not give you the best type of answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just think about that. So just you want to always develop a little support system in your life that for people when you have tough questions. All right? I love you.